hi, it's Boonie, and today's video I wanted to talk about Myers-Briggs. Um, there's been a bunch of articles coming out lately about how MBTI doesn't really work, and um, I just wanted to talk about how it's been useful in my life, and it kind of is perceived as astrology or some pseudoscience right now, and so I just want to talk about how I've been using it in my life. Um, I'm ENFP, and that archetype is the champion, also the journalist, and um, I think it's a great tool to kind of find validation in oneself and, and acceptance of one's quirks and individual preferences. I know that when I was growing up, I always wanted to um, be a social worker or work for National Geographic. Just the thought of helping a bunch of people or capturing the human condition with the camera and then displaying it for others to experience the pain and beauty of others, it, it really appealed to me ever since I was a little girl. And so that part of being my archetype really resonated with me for a long time and just having it written on paper and someone else saying that that is you it's kind of cool to see that you know it's like you know who you are and it is authentic to to want to be this way like you you knew yourself well enough to to want this and pursue something for your life um what i also liked about myers-briggs that that it not all the time but it can list natural strengths for a preference or a type. Um, with ENFPs and ENTPs, our lead function is extroverted intuition, so we're naturally inclined to brainstorm possibilities. And for me as a feeler, um, my brainstorming is usually based on interpersonal connection and um, realistic application with my third function extroverted thinking tied into um, pre-existing social constructs. So when I think and brainstorm, it's usually tied into something that already exists and, and makes it a little bit more novel for people to digest more easily. Um, oh, something I also agree with and I like that about my type is that we are um, pattern seekers. And the, again, with the, the second function that we have is introverted feeling that is attuned to patterns with people. Um, I think intuitive feelers in general have a natural gift to see patterns and, and motivations in others. And um, I think it's a great gift to have. I think that being an interpersonal and being attuned with others and their pain and their motivations is something that the culture needs more of. They're, we're lacking and we're focused on pretty much accumulation of wealth and, and tangible things when most of the things in life that are worth remembering when we're done with our journeys are intangible. So I, I want to give a fist bump to my intuitive feelers out there because really needs to be more of us out there fighting the good fight. Um, also with knowing about the cognitive functions is that the stack has a purpose kind of like muscles like Dave Superpowers talks about is it's it's just like having a preference for being right or left-handed knowing that you will most likely use both hands it's just the preference is there. It doesn't mean we're not able to use any other function it's just the preference is leaning towards one function or another and that's just a natural inclination that we all have and and also I, I don't know if other people in Myers-Briggs community all believe in that functions do shift I believe that functions shift to acclimate and for us to adjust to individual stressors and new environments I think that's just the way our brains have been wired early on that um, depending on how much time we've had to develop new coping skills, the original behaviors that we've had 
they just kind of shift around and that is our under default under periods of heavy stress. It doesn't mean that we're changing types or anything or personalities, just that the stress was overwhelming at a point and then we just do what we automatically know. Um, oh, in reference to the articles that have been posted about around LinkedIn and Twitter and Facebook about how MBTI is not legitimate or not kind of wacky, um, I think that we should just take it with a grain of salt. Um, if you don't believe that the archetype fits when you take the surveys online or when you go and take a real assessment, then that's not you. You know yourself best. And if you want to believe those strengths and the areas of improvement that people need with your archetype, it's up to you. You don't have to believe what's written on a piece of paper. And if you choose to, you choose to. I like focusing on the strengths that my preference has. And there's some things that I don't agree with. I, I don't agree with the flightiness. Um, I know a lot of people with the archetype are flighty and have a hard time focusing. And I think knowing that the, there are some weaknesses to work on, then work on it. We don't have to be um, contained by other people's words of who we are. It's just a blueprint. Blueprints change all the time. Plans change. People diverge from the original plan. And that's what's wonderful about being a person who can make choices. We have the choice to believe what is written on paper to be true or not. We have the capacity to question and 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 manipulate and and change how people perceive ourselves and and how we perceive ourselves there, there's nothing wrong with looking at some words agreeing or disagreeing and then moving on i think that's the really cool part of having the brains that we have we have the choice so i wanted to know what is your MBTI type? Um, how seriously do you take the archetypes and descriptors? And um, how uh, well aware are you about the cognitive function stacks? And do you know if certain situations call for your dominant function more than others? And when do you notice that your tertiary or um, uh, auxiliary functions are working for you? Do you notice that when stress happens, you can feel a shift in the function order, or are you still working on that? Like, does it do functions matter to you, or if just the the label itself is enough for you to be okay with who you are as a person? Okie dokie, have a great day.